Now I would like to welcome a group of presenters. It is Tanja Wittmann and a group of students. Tanja, Gruppmann, Tanja Wittmann is an artist and writer and works as senior lecturer at the University of Applied Arts. Magdalena Barthover, Dominik Condit, Anna Demmelbauer, Laura Egger Karlecker, Maria Fössel, Silvia Hirschvogel, Christina Kehrer, Daniel Stuhlfahrer, and uh, Georg Wolf are students or former students of Tanja Wittmann at the Institute of Arts, Science and Education at the University of Applied Arts Vienna. Welcome. Good morning. Um, we are a group of nine students studying together at the University of Applied Arts Vienna. The class is called Art and Communication Studies, and we've been working together with Tanja Wittmann since September 2014. Our degree enables us to oh, click. <laughs> Our degree enables us to work as teachers and in art-related fields. Tanja Wittmann is, as already mentioned, one of our teachers. She is an assistant at the class. In this class, one chooses from several um, seminars, and one of them is led by Tanja. Our curricula is divided into three parts. The first part is the, one part is the artistic part, then there's pedagogy and didactics, and art history and art theory. Artistic practice means that everyone follows an individual practice. Usually we don't work that intensively in groups. Um, together, the group, we were preparing for a gathering of several art classes in Nuremberg in November 2014, which was organized by Helmut Traxler. The gathering was not really focusing on a specific topic, but there was an in invitation which mentioned a so-called cor correlationist manifesto, which is a reaction on contemporary speculative realism theories, which, which, we, which became our starting point for research. Um, amongst other activities, we produced a video together, which we would like to uh, show you to a little excerpt of today. And I would like now ask Tanya to say a few words. Okay, hello. Um, at first, uh, just one short correction. Uh, these are not students of mine, but students of the class of Barbara Pletschko-Putz, and I'm an assistant in this class, so just to get this straight. <laughs> okay, while I talk, I will also show you something. What you will see... Uh, also is a model and it, it will have something to do with what I say and what is coming up and nothing to do with what I say and, and what is coming up. A model is always an abstraction that is supposed to make you understand things in real life. Uh, what the short film in the background is trying to make you understand is Borromean knots and Brunian rings. And I wonder whether you will understand them and whether this film shows knots and rings at all. In a way, I think this is not important. Because what it will make you understand or give you a sense of is how things and strings might interact, how they come together and make specific forms, and how they dissolve. This will affect you in one way or another, and it will make you understand some things that are not necessarily connected to knots and rings. In a somewhat similar manner, we are going to show you Notting Hill as a model of a practice of art and a practice of teaching art. This needs a short introduction to the construction of the class as such and the specific seminar that I'm teaching there. As the name of the class, Art and Communicative Practice, already suggests, it is inscribed in the program of the class to situate oneself in a specific relation that connects art practice and questions of communication and mediation. This implies that art is mapped in a constitutive and reciprocal relation to reflexivity and discourse. And while the and, art and communicative practice, suggests that this relation of art and reflexivity and or discourse is generally, generically exclusive, I would call this specific interrelation the basis of what can be called a critical stance in art. 
Within the framework of my teaching, it is equally important to make clear that art is not only a, a history of different art practices, techniques, and statements, but that art is also a force field of social, economical, and cultural dynamics. Students should get an idea of what this force field consists of and how each and any one of us is involved in it. This also means to not only reflect upon historic and contemporary, contemporary statements in the art field, but also upon how we can think society today and what questions arise with the current state of affairs. This could mean, for example, to try to understand how knowledge and commun communication are used as strategic or emancipatory resources in what is the networked and networking polis of semi-capitalism. It could also mean to reflect what specific kind of knowledge production, artistic practice, but also teaching is generating, and how this could be a proposition for a model of critique. This sounds highly theoretical and not connected to art production as such. So how do you put this into practice? And while I would say the model that we are presenting here is not fully outlined, at least it could give some points of departure. The concrete practice in the seminars that also led up to the film could be described like, like this. The structure of these seminars is quite fluid, but has some returning components. There are material, materials, texts, films, etc., that I or the students propose according to a specific topic that is the frame of the seminar and that we delve into. The framework itself is a rather raw outline of what seems to be of concern in contemporary art production and discourse, but also in current theory, theories of society. Coming communities has been such a reference point, post-feminism, recently speculative realism and post-internet art, etc. The proposed materials we intensely discuss together. Parallel to that, and mostly not interlinked, the students develop their artistic work. They can choose whatever format they like, and whatever they develop does not have to be linked to the framework as such. Rather, I try to support the individual student's specific approach and the diversity thereof within the group. Mostly, until last semester, students have worked individually. Yet I always insisted on a form of group production when it came to the point of making the works public, be it in class presentations, exhibitions, or books. The seminar group usually reconfigures after a while, depending on the topic. Some students, though, have followed a series of these seminars and form almost a class within the class. Last year then, for the first time, after being invited to the workshop in Kunstverein Nürnberg that was conceptualized by Helmut Draxler and his students, I summoned a specific group of students who I worked with before, who were already acquainted with the general approach and could move more quickly into media's race. One could also say a specific form of knowledge in regard to a specific handling of theoretical as well as artistic issues but also in relation to the group as such and my role in it has been a point of departure for this production. What happened then was quite surprising, probably also due to the format of the workshop, small presentations were scheduled for each art class invited and also because the students were more familiar with the approach as such and each other, uh, be a kind, as a kind of common knowledge, a kind of score had already been developed a more collaborative practice emerged. A film, Notting Hill, mine, uh, is the nexus from which nature emerges, was produced, and I think this film is doing a lot of things at once. One could say it stages an aesthetic form that is a proposition, an interrogation, and an enactment at the same time. As such, one can understand it as a model that is, and at the same time hints at a specific form of art practice, a form of mediation, and also a form of teaching that is implied herein. So let's have a closer look at the specific form of knowledge production that is proposed hereby. Uh, what kind of knowledge production does it promote? What kind of aesthetic forms can it generate? 
this form of, product, uh, of practice promotes an investigative, experimental approach to knowledge, knowledge production. It thereby questions the borders of our theory and didactics and communication. By quoting and communicating con contemporary theory through the artwork of the, the film, we generate forms that do not illustrate knowledge, but ask questions by themselves. It is less about explaining or vindicating a specific theory, but more about finding a way to criticize these, sometimes in a humorous way. Um, as an example, as an example for the, um, and an incentive for discussion, we will show an excerpt uh, of the short film Notting Hill. Nexus is the um, mind from which nature emerges which we screened at the gathering in Nuremberg. We used a lot of uh, HD material, video material, and therefore ask ourselves uh, what kind of um, image is this, um, considering that the human perception can't, uh, uh, yeah, we can't perceive it in that sense. Um, um, what do we actually see? A landscape that is more real than the one we see with our eyes, what kind of images are produced? Um, the film is a junction into our heterogeneous, um, into our research into heterogeneous topics um, like inhuman landscapes, um, Lacanian knot theory, cybernetic systems, the state and poesis of an object. Um, the film shows figures of relation, links and knots, which can be understood in a literal, symbolic, tang tangible and artificial way. The outcome of each work, of each member of the group was very, um, was very different and, and, it, and it is composed together by the means of collage and montage. Instead of light red, there 
Harper's Gallery. The different shades of blue come from the ocean and the yellow comes from the sun. The reflection of the sky on the ocean surface seems to be especially important. Since it knows lands those landscapes, it's using them if it's possible to decide what is especially important about them. Since it knows those landscapes, it's able to use them. Since it's able to use them, it can choose between different manners of usage. They can look like this. Look how they can be used. Look how they can be of use, because it knows them. They can be used like this, because it knows them and it can choose between different ways of using them. I am a circle. I am a thing. Maybe as a thing I do not have to decide what I am. Maybe I could be something else than a circle at one and the same time. Because if a thing is another thing, a thing can be an infinite number of other things. What a thing is changes according to that in which one considers it to be located. A thing is nothing in itself, always in another thing, the thing that it is in. So as a circle, I am also another thing. Plötzlich war es stockdunkel und ich hatte komplett vergessen, wie man etwas beleuchten kann. Auf welche Gefühle kann man sich verlassen? Und was ist einfach nur mal so eine Phase? Ich habe vor einigen Tagen noch... Talking about the practice, this model interfaces critical reflection of art theory and aesthetic forms with the production of a form itself. It can be any kind of production, such as making a book, organizing public screenings, creating interventions, or as recently, producing a film together. For example, for the latter, we were reading and watching and discussing texts and films. The texts weren't only theoretical ones, but also poetry and prose. We then met intensively and often to work on the short film Notting Hill together. Um, we met in the computer studio and copied, pasted, cut and edited materials from diverse sources, such as the internet or the library, as well as our own material and ideas. Whereas the singular parts were produced individually, um, the final clip was put together by all of us in an intense group process with Tanya being equally in involved in the decision-making. Through this specific production, we try to experiment with and develop a practice that does work for us as a group, as well as it is, is, as it is a proposition for teaching art. This approach stems from the conviction that a form, a picture, or a thing has a specific intelligence in itself that communicates and proposes something other than mere theory. Uh, it's uh, important to say that it is a collaborative practice that is, again, founded on, individual, on the individual approaches of its members. As such, uh, this practice brings together a broad variation of researches and interests, uh, but it also shows the way that those different approaches affect each other. Uh, the specific outcome is that um, the individual practices and different perspectives remain visible while they, are while they are informed and inform by the collective undertaking. The model aims to undermine the insistence on individual uh, or singular authorship that persists uh, in art production and teaching, but without dissolving the singular authorship through the group process. What I wanted to say has already been said now, so I try to keep it short. Uh, for us, it was uh, just very important that we kind of um, deal with a, with a contemporary um, tendencies of thinking and had a reflection on it, and also had a critical practice. Um, so uh, combining this and seeing it as a base, uh, we, we, we created uh, some kind of form out of this, and uh, we see uh, this movie and the practice, which uh, was somehow linked with the movie, uh, as a very important, um, uh, let's say, tool for the communication of art itself. 
And um, I think we can go a bit deeper with, uh, in the discussion and uh, we all invite you to come there and have a closer look on our movie because it's, I think it's 25 minutes long, so we can have a closer look. Thank you. Thank you.